if you have a cruise 2.0 or 4.0 motor, you have to do the initial setup either if you're using lead acid, AGM, or torpedo battery. We're going to go, we're going to cover that today. So what uh, I went ahead here already is hooked up everything and powered up our remote throttle. I'm going to show you how to properly set up a lead acid or AGM battery. That way uh, you'll have an accurate a, uh, percent reading while you're out on the water. All right, our first step is we're going to hit the setup button multiple times until we get to where it shows our battery type. Now, for this example, we're using lead acid batteries. So LI stands for lithium. We want to change this. The lithium voltage cutoff for the motor itself for 2.0 will be 21 volts or 4.0, 36 volt, uh, correction, 42 volts. Now, if we switch it to PB, the voltage cutoff point will now be reduced to 18 volts and for a cruise 4.0, 36 volts. This is a critical because you can actually have a premature cutoff while you're on the water due to this setting right here. Next, we're going to go to our amp hour screen. When I take the throttle handle and move it forward, it will go up to 1,000 amp hours. Depending on how many amp hours your battery is rated, go ahead and set that number according to manufacturer. If you have one battery, then that would be the amp hours you need to go off of. If you're using two batteries for 24 volts, the amp hours for one battery is what you go off of. If you have four batteries for a 24 volt system, then you want to double it because you're going to add it. So in this case, you would bring it to 210. Just carefully adjust that until it's down to 210. Then we want to save it. Let's adjust it just a hair more and press setup to save. After that, you're going to press and release the cal button twice. One, two, that's going to reset your percent meter back to 100%. After you go out and use the boat and return, your percent meter is going to, let's say, 30%. After you're fully charged, your percent meter will show 30%. What you have to do is reset it manually. To do that, press your cal button twice, one, two, then it will go back to 100%. I recommend only doing this after you looked at your chargers and verified that they are fully charged. Don't just assume because you can have a power outage and your batteries will not charge and you reset it and you will strand yourself out on the water. Mm -hmm. 